Check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the official Miss Jamaica. Walk on. Man, so I tell you, man, sometimes, you know, I had never got this thing done to me, you know, that these women done to me. You know, they done something to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, you know, because I, I, I think about, you know, dudes don't supposed to get, you know, stuff done to their faces. Because and, y'all too hard. Yeah, I'm hardcore. Machismo is them. Yeah, yeah. I'm but manly. I went over there and got pimped. Really? <laughs> yeah. I went over there and got took advantage of. I had to come out of my my, my zone, out of my machismoism, man. Mm -hmm. I went over to touching skin mm. and got my skin touched. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Check it, man. I got Taylor and Salima. Hey, you in said it the, right. Hey, listen. <laughs> so okay. Listen, in the house, man. So it's a good thing, man, when you can see two sisters, beautiful sisters. Hey, thank mm -hmm. you. That Jeez. really pretty much just uh, take you from strength to strength. Taking over. I mean, take me to where where basically, I mean, make make me feel like, you know, like I'm, uh, you know, <laughs> just took me somewhere that's a, that's else. That sound effect is, uh, summed it up just yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what happened, <laughs> but I, my face was soft. You know, <laughs> my arms and everything felt relaxed. You were I, I was, yeah, yeah. I, my daughter told me when I came home. Mm -hmm. She said, "Daddy, you smiling?" <laughs> yeah, I said, "What?" Did. I said, "What you talking about?" <laughs> She said, you smiling. You in a good mood. I said, man, you know what these What'd you folks, do today? These folks mm -hmm. done pimped me down there at Touch and Skin, man. How y'all doing? We pimped you. We pampered you. Right. Pimped and pampered the same thing. Same thing. And most same thing. Don't ever get I, never, I never thought I would even like it. Listen, but I us, loved it. You cussed us to ten book too. You ain't trying to get oh, on nobody's yeah, table. Oh yeah, I was cutting you up. You laid on the table like this. Okay, whatever. I'm 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 you know what? I have been begging him for years to get that done. Wow, years. Yeah, and he's like, no, nah, I don't want nobody to touch me but you. But you, I don't need no other woman touching my body but you. You touch me the right way. That's what I was saying. You should be. You should I be am, a compliment. I am, I am That's a hell of a happy. compliment, right? But that you is know a compliment. compliment. Yeah. But you know what? What we women like is when you do a couple's therapy or a couple's massage, mm -hmm. it's it's something that you're experiencing together. You're bonding. Yeah. That bonding time, that's what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We can talk, relax, because it, it relaxes you. Right. Yeah. And yeah, I definitely we did laugh and chuckle and everything like that. So had as you had relax, had you, had like you, say, you did mm -hmm. get a chance to mm -hmm. bond in. Right. Yeah, okay, so let's get to it, man. I, I want you guys to really just, at one at a time, I don't need both of you, because y'all, this whole, this, this, I need, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't. I need one of y'all. Let's see. We know we finish each other's sentences. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm tripping yes. on. I need you <laughs> okay. to tell me a little bit about yourself. Just, just tell me how who you are. Uh, how'd you come into this, man? Because you guys are gifted. Gotcha. Um, I'm Taylor. I am the T in TNS. Okay. Um, I'm a wife, a mother, a wow. uh, uh, multiple business owner. Man. Uh, how did I get into this? So you want me to lie to you or tell you the truth? The I truth. want you to tell the truth because the I people can, they can feel when you're lying. I'm going to tell you the truth. So I have a family full of cosmetologists. I can't do hair at all. But I love the beauty industry. So I was like, how can I stay in this industry without venturing into the hair industry? Mm -hmm. And I kind of stumbled across aesthetics and skincare. And um, it started from there. I started working for myself and... Then I ended up meeting Lima, and she was just kind of like, what's the phrase that you say? It's numbers and what? Uh, strength in numbers. Like I told her, I got to chime in. I'm Already, like, yeah. see? <laughs> it's strength in numbers. I said, we're better together. You know okay, what I'm saying? so. Go. <laughs> that part. And then so we kind of just started working together, and we, we grew way quicker than we anticipated. So it'll be two years that we've been open next month. Yeah. And we went from, we started from the bottom, now we really here. Already, already. <laughs> like, really. Yeah. We went up yeah. on a Tuesday, swear to God. <laughs> so That's the way God is. We, mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we work. but we work well together. Like, what I lack in, she's great in. What she lacks in, I'm each great other. in. And don't get it twisted. We do go back and forth. But one thing that we both understand as, a, as partners 
is that our anger is not, or if we get into like an argument or something, it's not like anything personal. It's more so we both have the same passion for the same thing, and we just both want to see it great. We just have two different visions that we have to figure out how to merge together. Two sisters. That makes sense. That makes All sense. right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. You know, you don't give people my government name. Niggas may be gunning for me and tell them what the hell I might say on here. You always wanted me to call you that. So it's hard for me to transfer. Just call me. I'm start calling you by just your government me, name. Uh-uh. ECEO. <laughs> in the building. Go. Okay. Um, the thing I've always asked ECEO. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was, <laughs> was um, y'all are always busy right now. Because every time when I call or we call to schedule someone, okay, no, we booked here, we booked there, let's figure yeah, out how we yeah, can squeeze yeah. them in. So I'm like, we're continually trying to send you new clients. Mm-hmm. How can you accommodate all these people when she you're asked me so, that that day so, too. so busy? April 1st, we'll have an answer for you. Oh, okay, okay, it's up. We're, we're growing. And so it's stuck. In order to grow, we have to <laughs> make sure and it's stuck. Stuck. that we... And right. April 1st is like next right. week. Yeah. Thursday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I know exactly what day that is. Yeah, so we, we're making sure that we accommodate everybody. So we, okay. starting next week or possibly the week after that, April 1st, should we tell them? Go ahead. Yeah, tell us like, oh, okay. secret. I didn't know we, this is going to be a secret. Or not. Everybody need to know. So everybody so need to we're come getting up a bigger, to touch the skin. Yeah, we're getting a bigger facility. We're going to have more rooms, more space, um, hiring more employees, those type of things. And so um, right now we've been super busy, but um, we're opening up more time slots in order to get more people in. Okay. And how do you find your new employees? They find us, actually. If you really want to be honest, they find us. Okay. Give me... Um, let me see your phone. You, you I, go in there and, and plug into my roadcaster. We gonna call Vita. Go ahead. <laughs> We're gonna put her on the show. I don't play. Okay. Uh, but let, <laughs> so she can tell us about her experience. Exactly. Because that's yeah. You yeah. Uh, if, she if she don't, if she don't, you text her and say you need the answer. Let what the hell you mean? First. Yeah, right. Y'all yeah. run this. Ain't no, ain't no. <laughs> okay. Now l- tell us a little bit about yourself, sweetheart. Uh, well, my name is Lima. Well, full name is Salima. Salima. I'm, yes, but I go by Lima just because. Um, I don't want people butchering my name. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's such a beautiful name. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I love it myself personally. I just I don't want people to mess it up. So go I just ahead. let it go. Out yeah. Go ahead, okay. girl. Go ahead, girl. Your name's um, good. But again, I'm actually originally from Buffalo, New York. New York in the building. Bop, bop, bop. So um, <laughs> I'm actually Jamaican and Guyanese, but I know she do the evening. Yeah, so. it's like six no. to twelve. So oh, I'm, I'm six to twelve. Damn. Yeah, that's yeah ninety four point five. It's she not that long. Six to twelve. No, it's like six to twelve. That's a beast mode. Right? She does the night. I don't think she does. six What day hours. she off? Yeah, what? I don't know. You asking she, a lot of questions. She, I think she, I think it's like just the weekends, and I don't think it's six hours. I thought I heard it yesterday. It said six to twelve. But I connected it to it. Why don't you just text her and just see if she's available? That's where you do that, sweetheart. For a few you. minutes, tell her we're talking about. But you can still uh, um, attach to the roadcast. Yeah, she already she did. It. She already did it. I'm real fly like that. I just like to do things on a whim. You know, you the same <laughs> way or no? You like to st- you? St- no, you that's t- me. She's okay. the planner. Yeah, we, I don't see, plan I'm, nothing. And I'm the planner. She the planner. Um, I'm not me, like that. I'm just I like calling. Like that's why you made me call her running like that. Mm-hmm. Call it. I said okay. Oh, see, <laughs> she on the air. She just texted. She hey, said she's in wanna, Vegas. I'm in Vegas right now. I'll call you when I get back tomorrow morning. You want me to call in? Really? Why you talk to Ronnie? Really? Mm. No, that's all good. Yeah, no. okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, I go to Vegas a lot myself, and they got phone service in Vegas. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, and I know because I, I run she a company from Vegas. She boo and don't want to be in Vegas. Yeah, it was there. his birthday. Okay. No, okay. His birthday oh, yeah, was it was. It was. Yeah, it was that's his when birthday. they came. So, you're right. That's all right. We'll get her. We'll get her. I'm on her. Oh, no, she coming. Um, Okay. Get back to your story. Let's go. All right. Uh, where I leave off at? All right. From Buffalo. You say you're from Buffalo and you Jamaican I'm, and Ghanaian? Yes. Okay. And um, I actually moved to Dallas about five years ago now. Um, when you say Jamaican and Guyanese, those are your parents, but you were born here. I was born okay. here. I'm first generation. Okay. You are definitely a delight, man. I mean, ever since we met you, you've been glowing. You make okay. me smile. Oh, you know, geez. that's that's what it's all about. You know, right. you girls, are y'all got the right spirit. 
See, there's a thing about a spirit, mm-hmm. the way your spirit connects with other spirits. People don't really look into it like me, mm-hmm. but I really believe it's true. And they yes. and, and Charleston White beings. Charleston White said it was spiritual up in there when he came. What did he call us? Oh my he goodness. Said we some spiritual Oh, this this yeah. nigga <laughs> right here said he loved it. I got him on film, boy. He was setting up when he was on your table and he was about to just fly up out of there. Like, what, is <laughs> was, what is this steam? I said, this is <laughs> I loved it. I told you he was going to have me laugh, and that was my whole deal with that. Listen. How was it? How was it working with him? It was cracking cracking up. Like I said, he cussed me to Ten Buck 2 before he came in the door. Yeah, yeah, that's how he do. You got to get that part. Yeah, I mean, I got cussed out. (laughs) But, you know what I mean, when he got on the table, he, like I said, he forgot he was mad. And no, that's how he is. He go from that to that, like no. And then all of a sudden, we was his best friends, right? Oh, <laughs> they even they even bought another service for one of their friends. Oh, they put it like us, came. huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She yeah. came, uh huh. Yeah. Miss King, she yeah. came. How she came. Yeah. How did that go? Uh huh. She loved it too. She been on the show. And the funny thing about it was, she's actually one of the was it directors mm-hmm. at one of the youth facilities, uh, Lee Top, that we wow. were supposed to do a program for. And wow. I was like, yeah, I was like one of our uh, one of our clients. He's one of the directors over there, and I mentioned his name. She was like. That's my boss. I was like, "Yeah, we personally know him." Really? And so it was. It was like, okay. so it clicked. It connected. Divine intervention. Yeah, man. Ready. I love good. it. I That's love good. it. That's the way it's supposed to go down. God is just in the blessing bit. And the funny thing is that a lot of people when they think about getting a massage, and that's why some people don't get a massage because they always say your energy can transfer into right. them. Mm-hmm. So people who are into that, we're like, oh, that's why I don't want people to touch me because I don't need that they negative energy, energy mm-hmm. coming into them. You so know for what me, I mean? like before I even touch somebody, like I always try to center myself. I even catch myself praying over some people like before I even touch them because I can, I can kind of sense it. Or I can be mid-massage and I can stop and I can tell them like, I need to take a couple of deep breaths so you can breathe, I can breathe, and we can mm-hmm. just calm everything down again, you know? Because um, you definitely, that's you definitely so can good to feel. Know. Right? That's, that's so good to know. It is. And, and I mean, yesterday we just had a, a, a show and, and before we went on air, I prayed. Yeah, we prayed. I was like, mm-hmm. let's pray. And the girl straight bugging it. And, and that's I, so crazy. I shut that down. Mm-hmm. Let's pray. Let's get let's get God mm, yeah. in here. Let you change the energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want y'all to know so that true. we're praying that this here thing bless everybody that's in in it. That's what it's all about. Yeah. So that's that's the way we that's the way we get down. And you know what? Somebody told me recently. What's that? And I've never thought about doing that, but I said I'm gonna start, especially for people who are believers in Christ or God and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Is they say that before they even go to a doctor or wherever you're going. When they're calling for an appointment, they ask, does this doctor believe mm. in Christ? Yeah. Mm. And if they say no, okay, well, move on to the next, next one, one. Because this is the person that have your life in their, in hand. their hand. That's good mm-hmm. stuff. Right you know there. what yeah. I mean? And I never thought about I it. Me either. You know, when you, you just oh, but like, it's something I'm going to start doing if I Listen, go up in I need an appointment. But that's why we need to talk about, about certain them. things and mention certain things because a lot of times we don't think about these things. And a lot of times it's taboo to talk about it. Because mm-hmm. I know you, I remember one time I think I, we was making a video, Tay, and you was like, you can't say pray to God in this video. I said, why not? Oh, really? it's, it's not about that. It's just sometimes like. Because some our, people don't believe. Right. It. Our goal is to reach all Everybody. ethnicities. And, and then you shut off that ethnicity. Let, 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 me, say, let, me, let, me, let me go not with really. No, 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 no. Oh, no like she's you, right. You don't she have right. to say that you don't Listen, believe. No. You don't have to tell them, like, look, no. I believe in this, this, that. It's oh, just sorry. unless somebody go opens ahead. that door to where you can speak about it, then you speak about I it. It's th- just you don't have to openly. No, and I do yeah. agree with you. I do agree I with agree you. with you 110%. And I'm going to be honest why I say that because I use that same format on this mm-hmm. p- platform. Like, I don't tell you you can't cuss. Right. I don't tell because I want you to approach me because right. the God that way in me. you know me, how to move. No, no, let me finish. Oh, my bad. You know, <laughs> the God in me is going to bring you out of the exactly. darkness. Exactly. Mm. But if I don't, if I tell you you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't. That's what the devil does. Mm-hmm. So you and Jesus yeah, never did that. He never he was always approachable. Mm-hmm. So when someone comes to you, you, you just need to make is. sure that you're, you're ready. You're ready. Yeah. You're prayed up, like you were saying. Mm-hmm. So I believe in what you're saying hundred percent. Now, what you was gonna say, because we know <laughs> you wanna tell them don't cuss, don't do this, no, put no, your no, cup, no, put no, your no, money no, in the no, cup. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> The only thing I was going to say is that um, there's nothing, because some people don't want to talk about their beliefs, whether it be mm-hmm. on film, because they're scared to run off that potential client. Right, they're yeah. like, oh, they're talking about God, I don't want to go over there. But when you are dealing with your clients and you're massaging them, it's not like you're standing over them and, and, and talking about God, unless they brought up the conversation. The conversation. Right. Mm-hmm. Your belief is your belief. Yeah. So And their belief is their belief. So if they still want to come and get a massage or still want to come on air, whatever, that's 
that's up to them. You know what I mean? But some people do feel like, oh, I don't want to go over there because... Yeah, they I'm not. I'm not know. throwing God in their face, but the same token. Again, also people may not call them God; they may be call them something else. Right. Whoever you want to call them, <laughs> you know. But you yeah. got to think about it. Goes both ways. Just yeah. like what I just said. Like if you're choosing a doctor, mm-hmm. you don't now don't want to go to a doctor that does not believe in God mm-hmm. because you believe in God and you know that He has the ultimate umbrella over everything. everything. So right. if you over here and you you believe in something else, how am I going to put my life in your hand? Unless you know you're at an emergency room and that's the only doctor yeah, right? you gotta do what you gotta do mm-hmm. but other than that if you have a choice yeah so it's the same thing for them if they feel a certain way because they worship something else and they mm-hmm. that's fine what yeah. god has for you he has for you already i think i think but also to his point you stay prayed no, up no, don't no, matter no, you don't matter you don't matter who to. you will who you're around if you prayed up and you do you what you need to, to do you right. always gonna be and i'm gonna tell you something it's hard to set at this table for an hour when i talk about god with me Mm-hmm. It's a hard thing to do. You 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 is you gonna bring it up yourself. It's some gonna come up. You're like, well, I had an issue with this, and 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 it's gonna be some kind of way mm-hmm. because it my belief system's up. gonna come it's out. Your belief system's up. gonna come out if right. you talk to a person for long enough. Not saying that that's the ultimate goal, mm-hmm. but if it is, that's okay too. But at the end of the day, everybody that come around you, you know, you want to be straight up with them. Like, hey, man, you know, if they ask you about it. Right. You gotta, you know, you want to, you don't want to deny him. But don't you got, feel, don't feel like I can't say it because I don't want to run this person away. Right. Yeah. You know, your belief is your belief, and God is gonna always see you through no matter what. Yeah. And that's my belief. Well, you know why we were yet sinners. Mm. God sent His only begotten Son, in my belief. So it wasn't nothing you done anyway. Mm-hmm. Right. That's how I come at you. <laughs> so let's go back. Is on. that real? It was that real. You was doing messed up stuff when he came. Yeah, right. like he really, you was just no <laughs> perfect person. So I was cutting up then and cutting up now. Got to get myself so how together. Long, how long have you been doing cosmetology? Uh, Going on seven years now. Seven, seven years. years. Mm-hmm. So you've been doing it even before you had the business. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Even well before we had a business together. Right. You were mm-hmm. doing it. Yep. Um, wow. And earlier I heard a, a client call you and was asking you questions. So you do do consultations to, with your as clients well. as well? Yeah. So sometimes um, we'll have client, well, predominantly when COVID happened, we would have FaceTime consultations. So I do consultations as well with my clients. They'll either come in or I'll allow them to FaceTime me. And you're telling me that you also go to them? Uh-huh. We travel. So you travel. for facials and massages, we travel as well as post-op treatments. We travel. Right. Tell me about that post-op treatments. Like what do you offer with post-op treatment? Like everything or... Well, okay, so um, our travel services include just lymphatic massages, and we'll do things like dry brush and cupping, mm-hmm. wood therapy and taping as a travel service as well. Um, our cavitation and skin tightening, that is only offered inside the facility. But everything else we do travel. And that's, Why? What's, what, what does it's that? just a lot of machinery to move around. Yeah. Oh, so okay. the easiest items for us to move around are... A little small thing you can kind of fit in their bag or something like that. Okay. But everything else, um, we have to offer it in the facility. Wow. Um, But the post-op really is just for people who've had... um, Oh, I like that. (laughs) Keep going. Oh, um, the post-op is really just for people who've had, like, cosmetic surgery or if you've had any type of surgery, like a knee replacement, uh, nose job, any type of surgery that uh, alters your body. Because um, you would think that a nose job, you don't need a massage for a nose job or anything. Well, you still like have fluids, so it could be a massage around the face. You still have fluid that builds up. Any type like, of major like, injury. I do like lymphatic massage on somebody who have like um, like their chin done or something like yeah. that too. Mm-hmm. Um, but and like, how important it is to get these massages after these surgeries? It to yeah, me is very imperative. Doctors may not talk about it much, but it is very imperative for Why? you to actually realize your results. Um, because your body will retain this fluid, and you won't get the shape that you desire. Because and get when you, hard. yeah, you get you can get fibrosis. Mm. Um, you know, you get built up of fluid again. Again, you won't get the so Scar you spent all this money, and you're not gonna get what you wanted out of it. Because you may look good when you're first on this table, but as your body starts to heal, it's producing extra fluid trying to heal itself, mm-hmm. and that's when the lymphatic comes in. That's when having the right kind of garments come in, and just doing the right type of techniques and eating the right foods and those type of things that doctors don't really tell you. So that's right. one imperative to actually have a massage therapist because we do more than just massage you. We're going to educate you as well. Right. That's, that's the main thing because doctors, yes, they don't tell you everything. I, sometimes I feel like 
because when you fail, you're going to come right back to them and like, right. we'll mm-hmm. fix this. How yep. do you fix they this? want you to come back with a round two. I mean, yeah. just, just be honest. And we find yeah. ourselves doing a lot of education. Um, a lot of educating our clients and telling them, okay, do this. These are the type of, uh, like, take Mucinex in order to make sure that you stay regular, drink plenty of water, um, drink Pedialyte or Gatorade in order to keep your electrolytes up because you can feel a little dizzy after your massage. And uh, Marilax, not Mucinex. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I fooled with her. She, she, she picking up what I'm putting down. Marilax. Wow. Um, wrong M. But <laughs> I know that's why I was wondering. I said, Mucinex is for colds. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? She know what I mean. <laughs> I was, Wait, I was recording. I'm like, this girl don't know what she's talking about. I was thinking Wrong about M. Um, But yeah, all type of, those type of things. We're always having to educate them, especially before they get their surgeries, because that little pre-op package, post-op package that they give you, it's nothing in it. It tells mm-hmm. you nothing for afterwards. Really just come see us the day after, and then you're really pretty much on your own. Right, because even like just regular massages, it's very important to hydrate your body afterwards. After massage, yeah. Because I've always told with all those toxins and everything that's coming out, mm-hmm. you need to be drinking a lots yes. and lots of water to flush, flush all of that out. Mm-hmm. out of your system and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Let me ask you a question, guys. Because um, 50 Cent came over there and got a massage. Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> Did you guys get a drop? A no. what? A no. drop. No, he didn't. He didn't shot us out. Oh, no, yeah, why didn't. y'all didn't make him do a drop? Because you wasn't thinking. Well. No, you didn't ask for a drop. We, we should have. Because if you'd have asked, he'd have did it. He and, would have. And, and we got to get him back now. Shout That's out to 50 right. Cent. We, we got to get, yeah, yeah, we got to get him back. He got to do a drop. He probably do it he for you. He can do it from up. where he's at yeah. and send it to you. Yeah, we cool with his manager. We may try to. See if his manager that. do your drop because that'll be good for the YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. True. Mm-hmm. I'm just sitting here thinking. I'm like, okay, yeah. we got to get His this. manager was the one that was rushing him and like right. stuff like that. Because he was so. trying to take him, I guess, out to eat or something like okay. that. Okay, but, well, but you do have his manager on lock. Yeah. yeah. Cool, because when he comes, Lord have mercy. When he comes uh, to town again, I definitely want to speak to his manager because I want him on Boss Talk 101 too. Got you. <laughs> be like, say, man, just for give me 20, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. I need to get you on here. Because he coming back. I heard he got ties here in Dallas. No, yeah. he got a lot of them. Yeah. yeah so mm-hmm. I'm going to love, I'm, I'm going to get that. I'm going to make that happen. Don't even trip. Give me that number. I'm going to show you what I get. <laughs> I'm going to get out with mine. But you guys, uh, you're doing a spectacular job over there. So it's a, it, it's it's not nothing to play with. I mean, who else Who else has been frequent in the shop? If they uh, Or can you say? Uh, yeah, we can. Spence. Okay, uh, Earl Spence came Taylor through. Taylor Gabriel. Taylor came through. Look, uh, you see him on oh, the yeah, wall right there. You see him right there yeah. in the store. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He started out doing push-ups in here. That's my <laughs> little dude. Like, yeah, he couldn't beat me then. Can't, I done got a little fat now, though. <laughs> that nigga, leave me alone, nigga. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Taylor Taylor start, grew up here in the store. Yeah, so yeah. Taylor, um, uh, Vernon Scott with yeah. Green Bay. Vernon Scott with Green Bay. Who else? Um... I think it's all of the big, big names I could think of. Uh, well, we've been, we've been radio, get, yeah, we, yeah, we, radio we got Vito over Michael there. Sean, Michael Sean. Sean. Well, mm-hmm. well, that's good. That's a hey man. Look like Vito's actually hosting a charity gala. We so. got to get the drops. Speak a little bit about your charity Jack um, gala. We won't go into that now. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, had enough, he had something else well, he had to say. It's okay. It's okay. We got. We got. So this that. year the charity gala is going to be our second annual charity gala. Um, we didn't get to do it last year due to COVID, but the year before, it was sort of like a last minute thing. I was like, I want to do something for my birthday. And then I was like, let's let's do something where we all got to dress up. So we did it free that year, and we had an amazing outcome. It was downtown Dallas um, at the Mercantile Place, and um, everybody had to dress up. We had food, drinks, live band, uh, DJ, what else, giveaways. How did, how did y'all know who to invite, or how was the invite? Did they have to pay yeah. to get tickets? Or? No, it was, no free. it was free. So how did y'all... How did y'all we just posted it. We just posted about I'm it. I'm not going to be like that. So this year, it, it is a cost. But again, we just posted. And basically, because of the charity that we were promoting, it was a charity that we worked closely with. And it was more so a need-based charity. Mm-hmm. So he needed things so that he can give away to the homeless. Right. So what we did was just re- we pe- we asked people to bring donations within right. it. And then we ran an auction during it. And that's how we re- generated some proceeds. And we just uh, gave that back to the charity. How much did, did y'all raise? Uh, it was like four thousand dollars. Okay, but we also had like clothes, toiletries, a lot of yeah. stuff that people um, donated. brought and donated. Mm-hmm. So awesome! It turned out to be a really good cause. But this year it's going down. What when? What month y'all doing it in? It's April June. The, no, it's June, June. twenty sixth. Okay. okay, we're gonna yeah. do ours a little bit after that. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got something going. I, I'm, okay, I'm gonna, cool. But if there. you didn't get no plaque, you can't come. I got some stuff in my. my Wait a minute! Oh, yeah. I better, I better. Come. Y'all in y'all own class, you definitely getting a plaque. Oh, okay. 
yeah, I, I know to... I know your boy getting one. He don't even realize it yet. Okay. He'll, he'll know it at this episode, though. I'm about to say. Uh, yeah, it's going to be your friends going to be there. If you don't, it's, it's sad because everybody that's getting the plaque is who I'm inviting. So it's going to be a thing where everybody got dressed up, too. So it's going to be nice. Oh, yeah. It's so like a war ceremony. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be nice. I got to dress. Plan, I'm no ready. Game. So We're playing no game. It's going to be great. Is, show up. What is your charity this year that you're going um, for? We actually have five different charities that we're going to be donating to. Um, our it's goal, still a surprise, though, right? No, nah, I don't think it's a surprise no more. But we can't tell you the charities. We can just tell you it's five of them. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> but um, our goal is to try to raise at least like 15000 and we're going to donate a portion to each charity. Um, there's going to be an auction. There's going to be food. We have a black owned winery that is going to be supplying the wine to us. Um, what else? Um, we're going to have vendors there, so we'll be, they'll be able to purchase things while they're there. Um, we try, got some things in the works. We're trying to get like the champagne wall po- popping off. The other wall. Listen, we're trying to be real exclusive with this yo, yo. scenario. Yeah. Um, we're going to be doing a tribute to... Um, Bishop. To Bishop Omar. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I... I, 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 I R.I.P. to Omar yes, because yes, I'm gonna tell you something. Life. Corey was definitely talked about him on the show. He's yeah, supposed to be coming back, and uh, mm-hmm. oh yeah, he said he's ready to come back. Next I know, week or no, like no, I, I'm gonna hold him off another week. Mm-hmm. It'll be two mm-hmm. weeks before we can have him back, but we got him coming oh, back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're yeah. gonna do a tribute to Bishop because we, you know, we was a part of OGU Cohort yeah, Three. Yeah, yeah, And um, Bishop meant a lot of, to us too, so we're gonna do a, a special tribute to him, and um. We got a, a lot of other surprises in store. Vita's gonna host it. We're gonna have some special appearance, uh, special yes. appearances, and, and we're gonna be auctioning off some some real nice stuff. So you yeah. gonna, you don't want to be there because it's yeah. the stuff that you really want. Yeah, I love it. Famous people stuff. <laughs> and how much are the tickets? Uh, right now they're thirty five dollars until April fifteenth. After April fifteenth, they go up. Well, just get our tickets. Okay. Mm-hmm. We ain't tripping on that. <laughs> if it go up, it's up, and it's stuck. We going to. <laughs> Get the tickets. Let's go. Right. Now, but the thing is, I could tell you, man, uh, I'm excited about the things that's going on in the Dallas market. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like what I'm seeing. You know, it's, it, 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 the, the city has some crazy stuff to happen. You know, this, right. it, was it that was this year or last year when, the, when, when Mo3 got? That, oh, that was last, last year. year. Okay, yeah, so this year we got to clean it up. Mm-hmm. We got to get our images better. We got black business owners, man. We, we got, got so many of we them. We got black artists. We got all kind of stuff in Dallas, Texas, and and we're gonna make it right. We're gonna do these uh, different charity uh, events. Mm-hmm. We we're gonna do the like I said the awards show. We're gonna pull it together, and right. we're gonna make sure that we stand up and be something that people can be proud of. Mm-hmm. That's what it's all about. Yes, right. influencing and helping others. Let me ask you a question. What do you not offer? We do not do Botox. <laughs> we don't do like microblading or micro shading to the brows. We used to, but we don't anymore. Um, we pretty much do everything. We do everything. A lot. We do a lot. Yeah, so we, we do. Mis- let's take. We tell you what we do do. Yeah, I can handle that list. <laughs> tell us what we do do. <laughs> All right. So we do massages, facials, mm-hmm. waxing, and lashes. La- mm-hmm. Waxing is gonna be like you know your chin, your lip. I was eyebrows. Gonna ask, do you not do like bikini waxes? We and do all do of that? that. So yeah. we do vijay shows and booty facials. That's mm-hmm. what's up. Brazilian wax and everything. Yes. Mm-hmm. Summertime around the corner. So we get yes. all up in there. Yes. Wow. We get you guys together. That's what's up. And then what else we do? Oh, do cavitation. <laughs> Man, I'm not Say, going listen, there, you trying, bro. You doing? You pushing it? Yeah, no, no. Now you you really tripping? Like, no, nah, <laughs> bro. That's for y'all. Y'all gonna do that thing, and I love to see y'all get them though. You know what I'm talking <laughs> he about? said I like it when it's done. Yeah, yeah. I like the way y'all get down with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking in my sexy voice now. <laughs> but no, I just love. I love. You know, I love to see women take care of themselves, and, mm-hmm. and and I love what you guys are doing to mm-hmm. make sure that women in Dallas, Texas, are getting that thing right. Listen, yeah, so we're trying to. Make sure y'all preserve the best version of you. Man, that's beautiful. That's that's For real. It. I love it, man. I, I just I just love the way you guys do business. You're so professional when I came in there. Thank you. Well, uh, <laughs> you. You guys made you know. I like that though. You know me. I'm that one. Mm-hmm. I can deal with it. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm bringing mine too. Let's get it. <laughs> Our customer service voice went to hard. Oh, it was great, yeah. man. Yeah. It was great. I mean, like I said, when I came in the dough, you guys was. All, y'all was on top of it you know what i'm saying everybody you know was comfortable the music was right you know what i'm saying got a nigga in the mood yeah nigga felt like he was uh, you know i ain't heard no slow jamming jazz and yeah mm, i'll be relaxing. back <laughs> 
Yeah, so we switch it up. We don't do the normal. We don't do the normal rocks, rocks and water. water. Like uh-huh. we do change it up depending on if the client really wants yeah. that or not. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So we definitely try to tailor it to them if we can. Um, but we definitely try to do something a little different because we do got to hear it all day too. Right. <laughs> um, so we like to do like do smooth jazz. Sometimes we do like Make sure when Lil Ronnie come in there, y'all play throw that ass in the sun. <laughs> oh, we don't play. We don't play. <laughs> <laughs> right when he get up, you going to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should be like some Lucy Goose so you can throw it. <laughs> <That's> right. <what laughs> His pregnant wife going to be backing it up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff right there. And I love the fact that you said you have... Um, your multiple businesses. Uh-huh. What else do you do? Uh, we're also in the real estate. She is a real estate agent. We just I have one on here. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. And what else? I'm the um, investor. So I deal with the people. She deal with the difficult people. Wow. <laughs> but y'all y'all tag teaming that too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really what kind of in, like um, funded the spa. So mm-hmm. we were doing like wholesaling Selling. and everything. How do y'all manage both like that? Uh, it's not easy <laughs> Some had to take a back seat Really and truly right. if So you, when COVID hit The real estate took a back seat Wow yeah. But I mean in, in real life Like you can't do everything No you it can't You can't give everything To equal amount of attention How long were you doing real estate Because you said that funded The spa So, so how we started long that in 2017 Yeah so I actually Was a real estate agent then yeah. We was just wholesaling houses I actually how, made How do you wholesale I made her houses? go get her Real estate license and I kept filling my tests. Yeah, so I, I, like, want to know, I want to put me a real estate agent. <laughs> this is some Tom Fuller right here. Really? I was like, okay, let's go get our real estate agent. Because I really wanted I was, to be I a I was trying to be agent. a good supportive friend. Listen, I kept filling my tests by one point. I said, fuck this. You I'm <laughs> done. You go <laughs> take it. I found I mean, it. How many times you know go to school <laughs> for the other friends so they don't got to go to school alone? Wow. wow. That's, a that's real deep. Friend. That's I deep. Paid, I love it. I paid to go to school with you so you don't have to go to school by yourself. But you see how frustrated I was? I kept feeling. But you know what? Everything happens <laughs> That's for a good. reason. Everything yeah. happens for Very a reason. Because if you did not go with her, mm-hmm. you wouldn't have gotten that and she would have still been failing. Right. <laughs> That's dope. It exactly. <laughs> and it would not happen. Yeah. So, but you said you were wholesaling. So, so you don't wholesaling have... houses without a real yes. real right. So how does that work? Technically, you never actually own the house, you or you're not really. Contract. You're just like a liaison. You know somebody who want to sell a house. You know somebody who want to buy, buy a house. house. And you bring I'm them bringing together. them together. So the fact that and I you want you guys together, yeah, they pay I'm us take my cut. Yeah. So that's what we were doing. We were going. It out. sound like a real estate agent, but we're not a but real estate get, agent. We were investors. Do, do y'all get the house it? looked at and everything? No, no that's, that's, that's on us. them. No, so, that's so on us. So what? That's what our job was is how we, good was that money doing that though? We make a couple thousand off of each one. That Actually, we make, that first year, I think we made what fifty when we did our taxes. We made it was forty or fifty. 40. Just a get it right. IRS is listening. Fifty <laughs> was it fifty or forty? <laughs> they don't know something like that. They don't know Mind your business. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it was about 40 or 50 that we made. And so we predominantly had um, actual people who would come to us saying, I'm looking for a 322. Can you find it for me? We'd be like, okay, this is what we have. If they said they wanted to buy it, we went and got it under contract. But then we, you know, went then to Then you them. filed real realtor right. at that time. Um, no, no, no. no. We, didn't need, we didn't need a realtor. Mm-mm. So we got it under so contract we it and we somebody. sold them the contract. Like, yeah. here, you'll have possession of this house if you pay us $10,000. They pay us. When it closed, they paid us our $10,000 and they were able to buy the house. Mm-hmm. It closed with them. Wow. Mm-hmm. So Do they get a better awesome. deal like that? Yes, yeah, so most, they, most of the time we you do like off market properties, right. so it's going to be under value. It's not listed with the MLS. So like when that. somebody come to you and they say, "Hey, E, I'm selling you a house. I'm selling my house for one hundred and forty thousand, and I'm like, no, nah, nigga, I will give you uh, eighty. Yeah, so yeah, you basically. give them eighty, and then you turn around and you sell it to somebody for one twenty. You just yeah, made forty thousand yeah, dollars because they just they. Mm-hmm. I got this mm-hmm. situation going on right, right. now. Right, so they, they get their eighty. They ask me you like, but they want one hundred and forty, but they ain't gonna get that from me. Nah. I, and I got cash. I'm not gonna do it. Now yeah. you can you, you can, don't even gotta pay for it. You, right. all you gotta do is write it on a paper Make on sure, contract. Yeah. You say you are gonna buy it for this, right? But you sell that contract and then somebody else buy but it. But in the contract, you have to make sure that it says you have the option to like sell without it license. Else. I can just do that. Yeah, yeah. that's how we. That's what that's we, how did. we did. It. We did. We still do it's it. It's a thing. Time like time. literally, you can go on YouTube and say, "How do I wholesale a house?" Right. So I'm just gonna wow. basically tell them. I Look. love the. Ed- that's why we love this platform. Woo! I'm gonna get that business. money. I'm gonna sell houses. Let me get a dollar. Let me get a dollar. I'm just saying. Don't I gave it. Yeah, game. yeah. You gave it to okay, me. Hold on. She's gonna but tell us something else. Hold something on. Else. What, what, right. This is the the crazy part though for us because when we started doing houses, I was what 27. 
I'm 29 now. I was like 26, 27. Mm -hmm. You was like, what, 28? Yeah. We about 26, 20, 26, 28. So you got two young girls who know everything about selling a house and what to do. Then you got men looking at us like, Listen, we were trying to negotiate, and they was trying to take it out on dates. I was so bad. Right? They mm -hmm. were like, they were like, um, I want to take y'all out. No, we trying to buy your house. So what we would do is we would get like one of our male friends mm -hmm. to go in and act like they wanted to buy a house, and we would tell them everything that we needed them to say. They would get the house for the price we were looking for. Then we show up at closing, and they just like, <laughs> what? oh, that's cool. But that, yeah, that's smart because you have to play the game to mm -hmm. get what you need. Mm -hmm. But that's so crazy that they're trying to holler at you and trying to be with you when you're just trying to do I'm business. trying to do business. That's right. it. So you went ahead and got your real estate license. Mm -hmm. So you make more money having your real estate license compared to just wholesaling house because y'all seem like y'all have uh, a really I, good I thing I ain't going. even using. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's all, all right. right. We're gonna use it. We're gonna <laughs> use it this year. So this year, I I'm not cause I do my SAEs and everything like that to do my continued education. So actually, what I started to do was actually be a apartment locator. Mm -hmm. Um, just because it didn't take as much time out of the business. Like I said, I wanted to figure out how can I use like this real estate license without sabotaging, you know. What's, what's right. really important to us. So doing the um, apartment locating was very helpful, but we probably are going to go back into the investor route. Right. Where it is... It's easier. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can still act as the realtor on Taylor's behalf as right. an investor. Because right. once you get your business up and going where you don't have to be there, because that's going to take some years, because mm -hmm. then you have your clients, like what y'all were telling me the mm -hmm. other day, because right. I had that same problem with our business where you had clients who just love to deal with you, don't mm -hmm. want right. to deal with nobody else, no matter <laughs> yeah. who you hire. They don't, they don't care. That makes you have to always be there. Yeah. But right. you have to train those clients. I just told to, her. Right, like, you have to train, train clients. your clients, but you have to train your employees well, to be. Just as good they, as we are. Right, they can't be you. Mm -hmm. But they can be as good, you know. Yeah. What? But you right. can still touch base with your clients every now and again. Yeah. And say, hey, we haven't forgotten about y'all. Mm -hmm. right. How are you doing? How was your service? Blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So they still feel like they're getting you. Mm -hmm. Right. So you know yeah, I, mean? I just told her that I was like, it's time we start training our clients because they are running us, running us raggedy. Mm -hmm. But that's good. I love the way how everything because the way how everything panned out, you ended up having two different. Um, you ha you end up having two different careers, mm -hmm. but you you have the spa. So you're like right. lady bosses, you know what I mean? Right. And you never know what else do you want to add to your, your repertoire. repertoire. Yeah. What yeah, else do you I all want to add to it? Because you do real estate, now you have the spa. What else? For me, um, Because y'all don't seem like is, you to stop. Yeah, for me, I, She's I, a notary. Goal, yeah, I'm a notary. Mm -hmm. um, and plus, for me, I want to add, uh, turn our spa into a medical spa. So start doing, I'm also a licensed uh, tattoo removal um specialist Ooh. um so we're trying to venture into that and then but you don't offer that service yet not yet because we have to buy the machinery okay, <laughs> so that costs a little grip yeah and our business luckily i can say for our business we don't have any debt like everything that we did with our company is self-funded like our company made money mm -hmm. and we use that money and put it back into our company to make it grow Mm -hmm. So we never had to come out of outside Reinvesting of thing is very important. Yeah, mm -hmm. outside of how much did we put? Like fifteen hundred each to start. Mm -hmm. That's Not it. Even. We really start with five hundred dollars if we real right. Right, and that's it. We just we've never had to come out of our own personal pockets in order to put anything into. The and y'all didn't get loans or anything when like that. Started, that's the nope. best way to go. Y'all like me because I see hot. so many people go You're to banks and get all these loans and say it's prefer it's better to use their money than use your own money. Yeah. No, yeah. no. You know, you hear but then all of you, that. but then you never know. Now you are. Now you have to make a certain amount of money in order to pay them back. And plus then, interest. Plus interest. And then now you don't realize any profits now because all your money go to them. And then right. you tell a story like, oh, it takes you three years to get a business up and going because nah. you're really trying to fight that wave or yeah. you borrowed that money mm -hmm. to make that happen. You're trying to dig yourself out of But me and you, nah, nah, we, we get I, it out I'm the not mud. Even lie, like, we hustle you hear what I just said? Out the mud. We made sure that mm -hmm. we put ourselves <laughs> in front of everybody. Like, mm -hmm. I had a saying, and she took it over, too. We were accidentally meeting people on purpose. Mm -hmm. And we would we be here and here and here to where we made sure that everybody saw us everywhere. And then it got to the point to where it was like, okay, well, what do they do? Mm -hmm. what, are they, what is their spa about? Let me go look it up. Mm -hmm. Let me look at their reviews. Okay, let me go check them out. Okay, I love them. I got to stay going every mm -hmm. two weeks. But what I love about what what your combination, right? Because how long you been married? Uh, Three years. Three years. What I love about your combination is the fact that you have a family and you're still able to hustle and do all of this because a lot of people are like, well, I got to find time for home. I got to find time for this. I got to find time for that. I'm still trying to figure that out. You see what I mean? I'm still trying to figure and that still, out. And still, because if you're on grind mode and you have to be 
on well pandemic you can't be on the road all the time trying to meet everybody mm-hmm. but if pandemic wasn't around and you out because you're trying to network and meet people all the time you can't mm-hmm. have that home time all the time mm-hmm. so you have to balance that you know what i mean yeah. well you know god has a way of working that thing out for you that you 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 have to First of all, trusting God to, to show you how you're supposed to get it all done. But not to say you're still not going to have issues along the way. Yeah, We all have issues. Me and you've had issues. Mm-hmm. And, and and it was things like me going out, I'm hustling and getting money and opening stores and you raising the kids. And we had our ups and downs. But God is the only reason that we're still together. Exactly. So, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to have some bumps and bruises in anything you do. Even in, in, in what we believe, people went through stuff. Them that mm-hmm. live godly shall suffer persecution. So you're going to go through some things, but you're hey. still going to come out. See, that's what they do to gold. Gold, you know, you can put it in something hot, and then it replenishes itself. Mm-hmm. And it's still just as good as it was mm-hmm. before it, it went through. It never loses any value. There you go. That's us. We gold. Golden. Right. <laughs> like your hair. <laughs> I'm gonna steal that. I'm gonna make that in a real nice caption. <laughs> How I'm gold, you can burn me. There all you go. To, but I'm still, still gonna go. That's right. Copy and paste mm-hmm. and send that to me too. Boom. Yeah, but, that, that, <laughs> but that, that, that's true. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you, but you got you just gotta understand that that that's what you gotta do. I mean, you guys. You got something great going on, so don't think for one second that the devil not going to try to come he through with temptation. Let me give you temptation. all an idea. Let me give you all an idea. Y'all need to start making shirts for him and her. Yeah. And have a little boutique section yeah, you gotta at, have your, that. at yeah. your shop. At your shop. You know, cute things about couples or, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. So when people come in because they're getting couples, you know, treatments. sessions, treatments. Right it'd be like, oh, that's real. you know, yeah. him, you know, her. Mm-hmm. This, this cute And I got slogans. a guy that, get, that, that, that you guys... Uh, I think that would be I'm a gonna cute. Tell you yeah, something. so we did want to start doing shirts. Um, it's just not enough hours in a day. We so I actually was gonna do it through. I out. actually was gonna drop ship them, but that way it's not not on us. Yeah. So people can order the shirts. They can see all the shirts that we yeah. have. You can pick and choose which. That's why you got to do it. And then that way we. Can but you need to have the, some at the store so people can see it. People can yeah. see it because like mm-hmm. people like me who older who just. Like the feel, touch, see. Like, mm. Oh, those are cute. How can I get that? Okay, well, you can go online. Yeah, and get to that. Yeah, but yeah. you have the examples there. You have the samples there. there. Yeah, for sure. Because everything cut Something different. Something to think about. Show different yeah. or whatever. Something to think about. But yeah, we already have our designs and everything. We really? just didn't drop them yet. Yeah, yeah. You, should, you should. You need, <laughs> you need to do all of, of that. So but that was that was that's what our that's where we move type thing. We're gonna have it all out there. We're gonna have space for it. Exactly, all, right. you know? exactly. But then um, tell me about your wine business because I fell in love with y'all wine. <laughs> that came about on an accident as well. That was accident. That was Taylor said, "Lima, you need to make something for him. Just gala, <laughs> right?" So we were, we were balling on a budget for the gala, the oh, very really? first one. I've been there. So we pretty much had to make everything. So. Yeah. <laughs> So she was like, so we was trying to think of like how, first we was trying to get some sponsors for liquor. And I said, you know what? It was just, last minute. So I was like, well, again, we didn't explain it to be as big as it was. So I was like, okay, we can make a drink. So I made two versions of sangria. And, red and, and I made a red and a white sangria. And um, it actually just ended up being a hit. And so we, both of them were both of them a hit. Both of them were a yeah. hit. Okay, because I only tasted the white, so I so the it. thing was we ended up changing the recipe, so I ended up making a whole new sangria. Yeah. But how that's how it started though okay. was I made a red and a white sangria. Everybody loved it, and we had a whole bunch left over. When I say I right. made a whole lot of sangria, it was mm-hmm. it was all on the floor I in made, the kitchen. We were we were really like we I was were transferring like, it. I was chop shopping it up with the sangria. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we had so much. We had so much left over. I said, well, you know what? We can give this away. To our, our clients, clients, you know what I'm saying? Now, a little added touch. Now, we still, we trying to be bougie and stuff. Right. right. And they loved it. So, I was like, you know what? Let's sell it. Right. So, then when we started selling it, I said, you know what? It was way, it was way more expensive to make it how I was making it the first time. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> okay. It was, it was a whole lot more ingredients and stuff involved. So, I said, no, we got to, if we need to make this and we sell it. cost effective. And we got to make it money, cost efficient. Right. We, so, I actually revamped that uh, sangria. And, again, we sampled it out to kind of see what people thought about it. And they loved it. They liked it even more than the first one. I was like, well, it's cheaper. Let's roll with this. <laughs> and you wow. only Let's get some labels, Tay. <laughs> right. I made the labels, got them printed, bought the bottles, put them on the bottles. Yeah. How many yeah. flavors do you have right now? On so, now we just got the one rosé. <laughs> and now we got an idea to make it a little more razzle-dazzle. So, it may be a second one coming up. Right. Okay. With some razzle dazzle to it, you're like, okay, right. hold up, Bam. doing your thing, man. Like yeah, that. wow, that's why doing I your love, thing. That's why I love because I think when you are a boss, mm-hmm. there is no limit on the things that you want to do. Right, you're gonna keep. You're not gonna settle with you're just gonna this. Evolving. You're gonna keep mm-hmm. like, okay, what else? How can I add to this? What else can I do? You know, and what I, I think mean? that's me of the bunch. 
I'm always like, we should do this. She's like, hold up, and Tay. And she's a supporter, because yeah. just like she went to school with you. <laughs> she'd be like, hold up, hold up, Tay. We got to get through one through five before we hop to 30. And I'm yeah. like, well, add it to the list. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, hold up. Hold on, you can't just you can't just hop from over there to there. We got to take some steps to get to that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm with you. I like that. Mm-hmm. Can we table that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I be like, but I got the faith of a mustard seed. Hey. I know it's going to work. Talk <laughs> about it. You're getting so excited. But I love I the I love too. the way how y'all compliment each other, Man. and I hope that y'all yeah. y'all stay successful for the rest of your I life. Do. Like I appreciate no, that. I think you will. I think uh, you're gonna see numbers that you never seen. Before. I tell everybody all the time. She came to New York for me. She don't, she didn't know it when she chose Dallas. Yeah. But God was like, okay, let me. Yeah. Let me she needed you. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we literally we went to the same school. Yeah. We lived around the street from each other. Yeah. God put um, it together. She dated my sister's boyfriend's best friend. I was gonna, I was gonna ask about that. I mean, get in her business a little yeah, bit because she. Get in it. Oh, know, I never got a chance to say. Yeah. No. 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 I was about school. to get into it because you know, she told about her family and her kid and her. <laughs> All this, you know, I get it, you know what I'm saying? But then you, we've been around a couple of times and she brought that up, but you hadn't been really talking well, about Well, I just it. opened the door. Walk so through. I'm just trying to see, what do what do you do? What's your Do you thing? have somebody? Uh, Tell it, don't lie. I don't know. Limo, you don't know if you have somebody? I don't know. So you single? Are you, you like have, a rapper. You don't she's wanna... single till she married, y'all. Or, she, or she's dating. She's single dating, till she married. I guess. So but she dating. I like it. I like it. I mean, so she available, y'all. If y'all want to get a woman, you know, you can get with no. her. I you do available? background checks. Are so you available? I am, nobody, nobody actually claimed me and take me off the table yet, so okay. I'm still around. You know what? That, but that's something. Yeah, I'm still around. I'm still around, but there is somebody who's trying to entertain me, I guess. I yeah. can say that. Okay. I ain't going to lie to you. You know, the way you, you, you look like you might put that nigga in the head like the way <laughs> the vibe, man. You cut up. I, li- I I know it from the massage and that helps, right? Yeah, yeah is for that, sure. Or is that nat- it could just be... It is natural like this, but I did lose weight when I started this yeah. career. Yeah, yeah. So, because so, to be little as you are, you can apply that pressure. I you know what? I said, God know what he was doing. Cause yeah. I really, I really had no intention of being a massage therapist. I had no intention of owning my own business. This is not what I wanted or now. what I expected Come on in my now. life. Right. But God will make Come things now. happen. That Come on now. But one thing I keep hearing from y'all, and y'all, I, I'm trying to hold back, mm-hmm. is y'all keep bringing God up. You can't do that around me. You know, that's what yeah. I do. Well, listen, when I like, say I'm being no, real, he's the y'all only keep, reason you that keep we're bringing here. it up, like, and you keep bringing it up, and you're going to start listen, something. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Don't want to start nothing up in here. Because this is what I do now. Let me tell you something real inspirational. When me and her started this business, we first we had an ongoing battle because I was like, you got to quit. Like, we can't give 100 percent of this if 75 percent of your, your your attention is going towards a whole nother company. So that was our first battle. Our second battle was, was like, how are we going to make a living? And we're not even excelling to the point that we need to be at. So we had a lot of a lot of nights to where we borrowed the same 50 dollars. Wow. <laughs> we had a lot of like long night talks where we're like, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to get this done. We got burnt by so many people. It happens. To where it got us to the point to where I was like, the first two people, she was like, well, let's try it out. And I'm like, the third time, just us. Don't bring nobody else into this. Wow. We trust each other. We know that we're going to get wow. there. Everything happens for a reason. Right. They weren't and meant. The moment that we said it's just going to be us two, everything started to just excel to where we started meeting people. People started putting us in a room with other people. We were just, how else can we explain it? I said, look, good. he work. Like I said, I wasn't supposed to be doing none of this. I right. came to Dallas to be in my marketing. I had a marketing degree. I came here to get a marketing job. <laughs> and I said, I wouldn't take a job unless it was my dream job. And somebody mentioned to me about being a massage therapist. And I said, you know what? I, I forgot. I actually low-key wanted to be a massage therapist, but in New York, it's a two-year program Dang. okay and how long did it take here and here's only one year okay and again i'm this is me saying i'm gonna trust god and i'm not taking no job unless it's my dream job but i'm realizing this is dallas and it costs a little bit more than where i'm from because <laughs> new york is more expensive than when i'm here. from buff i'm from upstate like i'm from like, close to canada so, oh, so it's, it's a, cheaper there it's a little cheaper there. like okay. my i had a two two townhouse and i was paying like eight hundred dollars I came here, got my little one bedroom, and I was paying about seven fifty. So it was different, mm-hmm. you know, in just that aspect. Okay. Um, but when somebody mentioned to me to, about being a massage therapist, I'm like, yo, I forgot I wanted to do that. Literally, I was working nights as a bartender, and I went to go. I just googled the first school that came up for massage schools, and I went there. 
And I was like, well, the program was from 7 to 10 at night. That's when I buy a 10. I'm like, dude, I can't, I can't do that. That's where I make my money. Mm-hmm. Literally, I was going back to my apartment, and the, the lady who owned the apartments came up to me. She's like, you're cute. What do you do? And I was like, that's strange. I said, well, actually, I'm looking for a job. That's what I do. <laughs> she was like, she said, what's your degree? And I said, marketing. She's like, well, you ever thought about being a leasing agent? I said, no, nah, not really. Never really crossed my mind. She's like, well, it's just like marketing. You do this, this, that, and the third. Here's my card. Call me. I got a job for you. Awesome. So I called her. She didn't call me back. I said, but you know what? She put that bug in my ear. I said, let me look up leasing agent jobs. I never replied for one before. I applied. The next day I got a call. By that Friday, I had the job. By that Monday, I was in massage school. Wow. When I say look at God work, I didn't have none of this plan. Things just kind of fell along how mm-hmm. it needs to fall in line. Awesome. I didn't know I was going to meet her. My boyfriend at the time had the same, was my her husband's ba- barber. Her husband's barber. And then me and her were best friends at the time. So when I went there, he wanted me to work with her. So when I went there, I meet her to work with the barber, and I meet Taylor. Yeah, I come. I would come up there periodically and like like mess with her her clients' nose and like pop their pimples and stuff like that. And then I would just sit and talk. So then I ended up meeting her. So then I don't know what happened. Oh, we we got half our barber's license too. Like we some real hustlers. That's <laughs> but, how we got cool. No, That's y'all how we beast got mode cool. though. So we, we got, got cool going to barber, school. To barber school together. Yeah. I, I trip off y'all because it's a trip. How y'all 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 just y'all just. Magnetic, the yeah, energy is magnetic. Yeah. Is oh yeah, connection. she family. Like my mama called me. Where where Ty, where Lee at? Uh, <laughs> Tina, you calling Taylor's phone? You know that right? Exactly. <laughs> so you say y'all did know? Uh, you knew what's the name too? Um, what's that old boy name? Taylor's old uh, Taylor's e? best Emmanuel. friend. E? Emmanuel. Yeah, I, I don't know E since I was like twelve. Really? He used to live around the corner from me. Like we we cool cool. Really? So, yeah. I got it. Yeah, Emmanuel, man. He's he's definitely um. He, he he's something else. He's he always too. yeah yeah. He he yeah. gonna he, he gonna tap in every time with me. That dude been here ever since he was a kid. They best friends. So mm-hmm. that's the thing. It's oh, that chill. that is the next. That's the next thing we are gonna get. I owned the eighteen wheeler before. But you owned the eighteen wheeler. You too oh, little yeah. on the eighteen wheeler. <laughs> but that's what we gonna get back into. What that you again. were driving eighteen wheeler? Oh, so you wanna nah. get back into trucking? Yeah, we yeah. have to get back into that. Yeah. You liked wow. it? Oh, I got burned. That's oh, like, yeah, that's the that's the. So you feel like you need you got something to redeem yourself. I gotta take you through that history. So first we were supposed to open. We supposed to open like an all women um, barbershop. It was supposed to be in South Dallas. It's, it's the story, boy. We got kicked out of that. <laughs> the next one, we found somebody. We were doing the real estate with him. She got burnt out of that with the trucking, and then we just decided to do it together. So yeah, we. Uh, the thing I can say, you know, is that when 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 God put you together, man, He said, "What God has put together, let no man put, put us under." Man, you know, I'm gonna be real with you. When He does something, man, He does it right, don't He? Mm-hmm. And even if it's wrong, it just it, it's right anyway. You know what I'm saying? You guys are, I mean, for you guys to be in the Dallas market, man, and it's a blessing. We're glad to have you. You know, I'm Thank I'm you. definitely coming to see you and and bringing my wife or sending her. You know, Thank for you. the scalping. I, I call it a scalping. I, I you know, definitely want to take my daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm telling y'all that she she definitely needs you, guys. especially for the facial. No, she both of them, to, both of my uh, daughters. The yes, oldest one yes, too. I'm yes, sending. Yes, oh, yes, yes, definitely, definitely. I'm sending we both of them. I already told them. She says she's coming down here from clean. She in the military, and then oh, she yeah, does. Oh yeah, you did say. Yeah, you know. I want to send both of them at the same time. Mm-hmm. I told her the other week. I'm like, you got to come down so you can. I got something I want you to do for me, mm-hmm. and she gonna come through and rock with y'all, both of them. Um, okay. So the thing I could say is, man, just um. Make sure y'all don't forget about us. You know what I'm what saying? You mean? Oh, we don't forget about nobody. Because y'all sure. getting big, you know. <laughs> Listen. Nigga might get too big and forget yeah, about us. <laughs> you want this big time? Okay, I mean, I am the man. Busy. Don't even trip. I'm going to set him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, you, know, you know, we hot right now. You know okay, what I'm being I mean, real? You got, I mean, you got all I mean, the No, no, like, they, they, yeah, they coming through and, and steadily growing important. And I just need you to alley you them over to That's what I'm doing. Just call us and be like, hey. I'm going to set them up right now. Yeah. I got a gift for y'all. I got you. And then I got us, you. We're we going to pick it up from there. Hey, you see me working already. Boy, we got Listen, you. Come we got on you now. The, you got this with the assistant. We in there. I got you. <laughs> hey, I'm, 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 I, you play a little ball. I see the, I seen it. it. Hold up. <laughs> one, one season and they hit me a little too hard. I said, hold on. Y'all want me to fight or want me to play ball? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I got to pick one. Man, I can tell you, man, you guys going to be around forever. I can't wait to see, you know, five years from now. I think Touch and Skin do big numbers. I'm receiving all I, of I that. Really, right. I really, really do and, and and like i said get that drop from 50 50 you also drop man i need a drop that i need part. you at boss you know talk too friends. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys did your thing. I know you did. If you did anything to him like you did to me. That nigga, he, he said <laughs> it was the best massage you ever had in his life. He said, and I travel around the world and I never had nothing like he this. He was even supposed to put us in his uh, wow, that's beautiful. typhoon. I said, ooh. Then COVID hit. It was like, don't get COVID. Yeah. Stuff, stuff, right. I'm going to tag him. I'm tagging him. And, and the guy that was on here the other week does his visuals when he come to mm -hmm. Dallas, uh, uh, Sean. So wow. I'm going to tag him in with a few of the people that been on here. He going he gonna to recognize. Then you got his manager on lock. Mm -hmm. he gonna and we got that little cute photo up now. Okay. Oh, y'all. When, when he saw us, he was looking kind of rough. Right? Uh, <laughs> oh, y'all rough. Well, y'all rough. I got to tell you that story. So we, we used to do massages <laughs> in the strip club in the chair and um, the cigar lounge. Really? That's, how, that's how the first time I met 50 Cent yeah. At the strip club. At, at, at DG's. Really? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So we were headed to the cigar lounge in, what was it, Cedar Hill? Uh -huh. To do uh, chair massages. And I get a phone call. And I'm looking like, I don't know this number. So I answer it. He was like, what's up? This is so-and-so, so-and-so. I'm looking like, I don't know who you are. Who are you? <laughs> I didn't say that, but I was like, hey. Yeah, that's how we do How are you? Might be he so. Was like, he was like, I'm good. Where you at? Um, how are you? And I was looking at her like, 50 Cent, he come by the shop. Um, oh, no, you know, we traveled to him. Yeah, He didn't come to the shop? Mm -mm. Uh-uh, he was at a hotel. We oh, went to the hotel. that nigga got it going on. You yeah, know. we traveled to him. He don't have to come by the shop. We had to go to the shop, stuff. It's getting <laughs> real. <laughs> no, that, the good thing he had a whole it. different type of massage. I ain't even going to lie to you. He got something special. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, this <laughs> nigga. Yeah, like oh, that. Oh, that yeah, that yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, not that kind of special. No matter what you heard about me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just can't get a dollar out of me. Yes, sir. He got a four-handed massage. Oh, really? I know I know that's right. I'm clarifying it even more. So a four-handed massage is basically when you get massaged by two people at the same time. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I thought something else. I ain't going to lie. That nigga over there getting a massage massage. You got to clear that up. Yeah, that nigga get the massage massage. Do you hear me? I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm trying to figure out what kind of massage did this nigga get? You know, I'm mad. I'm kind of jealous. Hold up. I don't, think I, I, don't think I was offered such a <laughs> <laughs> We did take it off. We took so it off. So my our friends menu. are coming down there. Uh, actually, um, and and to be honest with you, he didn't. Um, he actually didn't uh, get to. Uh, he, he he didn't he didn't get nothing special. Uh, I mean, I paid for heels or whatever and took care of him. But the thing is. He definitely knows a lot of people. You gonna have to talk to him when he get down there. Derek's that Jenga Derek's dude that I sent down there. And make sure you have already, a line on yeah, deck. Yeah, make sure he, he can he Ooh, can put y'all in Cali. Did he already book? Yeah. Yeah. I already I paid for it that day. I made sure. What He's day? supposed to come in Friday, I think. Thursday or Friday? This Friday? This Friday. <laughs> yeah. I already. She probably did, did you do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me look. <laughs> She's like, um, oops. Now, I remember in Charleston, I remember you calling and hit that book. No. We, yeah, did, I think that, we, we did. did that oh, right Derek then Angus. and then. Yes. Yeah. I got it. You need to make sure. Mm -hmm. That dude got to go. He, he know, he know Let everything. me confirm it now, too. Okay. Rihanna been in L.A. Uh-huh. Right. Ooh, I love Rihanna. Well, that's mm -hmm. my dad. That's my yeah, girl. Right that's what I said. I, I paid for him, but y'all need to take care of that dude. Yeah, we uh, got that him. That dude know everybody like us. We got him. Yeah, we got him. And the wine. The reason why I'm saying the wine because he has those restaurants. And if he liked that, you never know. He might. Oh, I thought that. See, I think I'm confusing the people together. I thought that guy, other guy who didn't show, was the one who had the wine in no, that spot. No, in no, LA. no, no. This one. Oh, okay. You talking about Sir Charles? Yeah, yeah. I showed no, you the. Uh, I showed you the guys. I caught him. Uh, <laughs> she kept calling him Sir Pringle. <laughs> I showed you the guys is. Uh, um, Restaurant. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that dude. Gonna he's to going back to LA. Sunday after y'all get through massage, he got to fly out. But that okay. dude heavy, man. Yeah, when like, we like when I was we on the phone with him last night. I'm, I'm hooking him and Sir, Sir Charles Jones up because he does. Sir Charles Jones got three food trucks and he has restaurants and they need to get it together because mm -hmm. he got a house here and Sir Charles Jones is here and and they need each other. Mm -hmm. so that's what we do. We bridging the gaps. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Putting the people together. Hey, hey guys, man, we love you guys. Love you too. I'm so and, glad I met you. Oh right. man, it's about to go down. Like, this I'm ain't like the, for real. Like, no, 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 like no. It's going down. No, like, I'm God. the one. Like, they don't even realize the people who we ain't got we, over we, here we need to get over one. here. We all the You know one. what I'm saying? Like, the ones that hadn't met me yet mm -hmm. need to meet me because I'm the one going to put everything together. 
like I said, the wash show gonna be at the end of the year. Watch what I tell you. It's gonna be everybody. We that already I bless. got our outfits ready. Yeah, yeah, it's going down. Well, we, I ain't got mine, but I'm gonna get it. I already know you are. <laughs> I'm gonna Say, it. man. So, touch and skin. Uh, tell us what, how they can find you on, online. Let's do that before we get off here. All right. So you can find us at IG and Facebook at Touch the Letter N Skin. And that's on IG and Facebook that touch the letter N skin. And also have a website, www.touchandskin.com. That's touch the letter N skin. And we have a new website dropping too in April. We, we got a whole lot of new stuff coming out. Already. On. So and you can't and remember and nothing. And Don't, and baby. Oh, no, this is no, 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 no. She says that part, then I hit you uh, with the address uh, no, and the no, phone no, number. Let me put this camera on. Go ahead, baby girl. <laughs> She playing. <laughs> Tell him so, we got a process. We do this. She dropped okay, you with the social I don't want to explain. I want to see it. Go. <laughs> so, again, Touch and Skin on Facebook and IG. That's Touch, the letter N, Skin on IG and Facebook. Our website is www.touchtheletternskin.com. We have a new website dropping, new product line dropping. And how else can they contact us, Tay? Um, you can reach us at 972-992-7422. You can call or text us. And our address is now 1409 Botham Jean Boulevard, Suite 245, starting April 2nd. Yeah. Uh, Dallas, Texas, 75215. Should we say April 2nd? Wow. It's going to be in April. Sometimes. <laughs> when that video is going down, we definitely appreciate you guys for coming on the show. Thank Anything you, else for having us? Miss, the official Mr. Maker? No, that's it. All right, man. He's CEO signing out, man. It's Boss Talk 101. Hey. And we out.